Welcome back with more experience. Um, the first brand new video for in quite a time, quite some time. Um, I've been on holiday and I've been to Liverpool. Um, it was my first trip ever to Liverpool. Um, and you know, people who are familiar with the channel know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mega Beatles fan. <laughs> so that was like a pilgrimage that was overdue, one could say. Um, and you know, often when you dream about something for such a long time um, and it finally comes true, sometimes you end up being disappointed. But not this time. Um, it was really magical for me. Not just the Beatles uh, themed things uh, during the trip, but also, you know, the city itself. It's a beautiful city, I think. But now um, we um, are on a bus ride. Um, this is one of those touristy Beetle tours I took, or the only touristy Beetle tour I took. Um, and this is the Dingo, you know, um, where, where Ringo was born. This is the street where Ringo Starr was born. And you might be familiar with this building. This was the Empress Pub, um, a pub Ringo used to go to in the, in the late 50s. And it's, of course, also the pub that's on the cover of his first solo album, Sentimental Journey. So now we were in Ringo's district, tough working class place. Now we're in a more posh area. You've seen it, Menloff Avenue. Um, that's, of course, the, the street, the avenue where John Lennon was raised by his aunt Mimi. Um, this was the next day after that touristy Beatle tour. Um, this time, this day, we, we, my girlfriend and me, we decided to go there on our own um, to have more time to, to you know, see everything and now you can see me you know we we, we arrived at the bus stop at Menloff Avenue and before we went to John's house or what used to be Aunt Mimi's house um, we went to Strawberry Fields um, or Strawberry Field without the S is the correct spelling not as in the song um, as you all or the Beatle fans of you uh, might know um, a place where John not just wrote one of his best ever songs about, um, but that was close to his um, house. You know, we're in the, in the district Woolton, which is, as I said, one of the more posher areas of Liverpool. And not only Aunt Mimi's house is here, so, but also Strawberry Fields. And now you can see me walking from Mandel Avenue to Strawberry Field. Field, not fields, um, which you know used to be um, a place for the um, here's the door, the entry, um, and it used to be from the Salvation Army, um, a home for for children, and it still is owned um, or curated by the Salvation Army, so you can. You can donate for for them when you when you go inside the building, the red building, and you can um, buy merchandising products. You know, I also am guilty of buying very touristy, of course. But you know, it goes to the Salvation Army, so I think it's for a good cause. I bought some sweaters with the Strawberry Field logo on it, um, and I also bought a book that's only for sale in there, or maybe it's for sale. You can order it everywhere, probably as a book but you can buy a signed copy of it in there. It's the Imagine This book by John Lennon's half-sister, Julia Baird, who still um, works at Strawberry Field. She, you know, I, I didn't meet her when we were there, um, so maybe she had a day off or she's not, she's, you know, she's over 70 years old, so maybe she's not there often, um, but she's still often there. And she wrote this book about Growing up with my brother John Lennon is the subtitle of this book, Imagine This. And you can buy, uh, in, in the merchandise shop, you can buy a copy signed by her. And, you know, I bought one of these copies. So that, that was brilliant to, to uh, buy a, a copy of, of that book 
um, that was brill, you know. <laughs> it seems to be a saying, in, a common saying in Liverpool, you know, when I ordered food in, in restaurants, the, the waiters often used to say, that's brill, you know, it's brill, <laughs> brill for brilliant, I learned that word in Liverpool. All in all, I have to say, very friendly people, very friendly town, you know, I was kind of warned before I went there, also by Beatle biographies and interviews with the Beatles, but also by people I knew who went there before, that it's such a tough place and some of the people are, are rude, you know, quite on the contrary. I come from a city, Vienna, that I think is more rough, more and with more tough people, more rude people. Um, I really met not just people who were waiters, but also, you know, people on the streets who were really very kind and friendly. And the city, as you can see in this video, um, it's beautiful, you know. It's the suburbs here, especially the suburbs of Liverpool. Wooten is, you know, not in the center. Very beautiful, very beautiful architecture, lots of parks and gardens. So even if you're not a Beatles fan, I can only recommend going there. Um, especially in spring, as we did, you can see everything in bloom, the cherry blossoms, very, very beautiful uh, town and very beautiful district, this this village called Woolton, which is outside of, you know, the, 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 the city center. Um, and now you can see me making the walk that John Lennon, as a, as a youngster, quite often used to do, you know, the walk from Strawberry Field, where he would play, um, to his home to the home of Aunt Mimi the house called Mendips uh, in Menloff Avenue now we're walking down Menloff Avenue you know I didn't really cut much it's really a very short uh, walk um, like five minutes walk from, from Strawberry Field and now here we are <laughs> this is Mendips if you're a diehard Oasis fan you might be familiar with the building um, because it's on the cover you know this what we see now is almost identical on the cover of the Live Forever single by Oasis. And, you know, moving moment for me, a great moment in my life, um, being there, Mandel Avenue, Mandips, the house that John Lennon grew up in. And, you know, we, I've talked about people in Liverpool. We met a, very, we met a great guy there. Um, you know, we, we've arrived there, not, as you can see, not many or any people on the street, And suddenly a man drove by with his car, went out of the car and, and came towards us and, and told us um, that he's from Liverpool, but he was like 60 years old. He's from Liverpool, but he never, ever went there. So we've met him when he, in his 60-year life, um, decided for the first time to, to visit that, that place to pay you know, his respects to John Lennon. And it was a very nice chat with this guy also about conspiracy theories and regarding his death and, and so on. So it was, was really, you know, you can really have nice chats with the people, very communica communicative people in, in, in Liverpool, I, I find. And now this is, this is an even more historical walk for a Beatles fan, I think, as the walk from Strawberry Field to Menloff Avenue, Mendips. This is the walk from Mendips, from Aunt Nimi's house, to where the Woolton fate was. In, you know, in June 1957, the historical the meeting of the meetings, maybe the most important meeting of the 20th century, at least for me, <laughs> the first meeting of John Lennon and Paul McCartney took place at the Woolton Fate um, at St. Peter's Church, at the churchyard of St. Peter's Church in Woolton. And now we really take the exact, I think it must be the exact same walk that John Lennon took on that June 57th date without knowing what would happen, which important moment of his life would happen when he walked to play, it was his second or third show as a quarry man with his first group when he walked there, probably with his guitar, um, to perform with the quarry man and in the audience was a very young 15-year-old Paul McCartney and now I'm trying to recreate the walk John Lennon did from his home to, to that church where that concert took place. And you know, as you could see, it's a very it's a nice walk again. It's not just like for historical reason interesting. It's really a nice walk if you're in, in Liverpool. Again, you don't even have to be a Beatles fan. It's it's a very nice walk up this hill. You know, it's it's on a hill, and but it's 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 very easy. You know, to to walk up there. It's not like you have to climb the mountain. So again, it's it's a short distance, maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Um, we we walked. Um, and you can see very beautiful 
um, very very green, very, very everything in bloom, and now you can see it in the background here, well, it's even in the foreground now, St. Peter's Church. Um, that's the church. Um, next to the church, the concert took place, uh, where the quarrymen played with John Lennon singing penitentiary um, blues or whatever it was called, Come Go With Me by the Del Vikings. Paul McCartney often tells that story when John Lennon changed the lyrics to that song. To, from come go with me to the penit from go go with me to go down to the penitentiary or something like that. You know, classic Paul McCartney story. But now we're at the graveyard, and of course there's the grave of Eleanor Rigby. And as a Beatles fan, of course, I I looked around and I found it here. Very short. I, I should have filmed it longer. Um, that the grave of El of Anne Eleanor Rigby. It's not the Eleanor Rigby of the song, but Eleanor Rigby lies here, which is very strange coincidence. And here, Father Mackenzie, um, like. 10 meters separated from it. Here you can see it. John McKenzie. So Paul often claimed that he didn't write it with, that he never consciously wrote it with that, um, but maybe subconsciously on the day he met John Lennon, maybe he, he saw that grave. And now this is finally, this is the place where the concert, the stage was here. Here was the stage where John Lennon performed and in the house inside was the backstage room where John Lennon and Paul McCartney first met. So um, here was the stage where Paul saw the quarrymen perform and after that he went backstage in into that house where we now are in the, the, the churchyard and John and Paul met there again very moving moment for me you know I almost had tears in my eyes um, well um, even even now it's, it's it's really cool for me um, yeah that was the video thank you very much for watching till next time goodbye